Hi guys. So let's do some problems on using mass by volume percent to find the mass of a solute. So here's a typical, here's an example. A topical antibiotics is 1% mass by volume clindamycin. How many grams of clindamycin are in 60 milliliters of a 1.0 mass by volume solution? Okay, so here the question is clearly asking how many grams, so that is a mass, how many grams of clindamycin? Okay, so don't worry about clindamycin, but we're, we're looking at the grams of clindamycin, okay? So that's one thing. So we need to find the mass of clindamycin in grams. That's one thing. We are given, next thing that we are given is the volume are in volume of the solution. So we are given the volume of the solution, which is 60. So volume of the solution, and that volume of the solution is 60.0 milliliters. Okay, now next thing that is very important thing that is given to it is a concentration. So the concentration and everything here lies here, concentration is 1.0% mass by volume. This means that 1.0 grams of clindamycin, this is, remember, this is the solute and this is going to be the whole solution, the volume. Okay, so one, so clindamycin is actually the solute. So 1.0 grams of clindamycin, which is the solute. So let me write this down. Clindamycin, okay, is present in the whole solution. So 1.0 grams of clindamycin is present in, is present in, 100 milliliters of the solution of this antibiotic, okay? And we also see that the other conversion factor is 100 milliliters of the solution contains, of the solution contains 1.0 grams of clindamycin. So that is basically, we have used the mass by volume um, percent, which is one person as our conversion factor. Okay, now out of the two conversion factors that we created, one was this and the other is this. Which one are we going to use? We are definitely going to use the one that eliminates the milliliters of the solution because we need to find the mass. So how are we going to do that? We know this is the 60 milliliters of the solution and we need to find out that 60 milliliters of the solution contains how much of the clindamycin in grams. So you write down what is your given, which is 60, 0 0.0 milliliters of the solution, 60.0 milliliters of the solution times, okay, we need to find the mass in grams of clindamycin. So we are going to use this conversion factor. Why? Because we want to get rid of the milliliters. We want the grams uh, as a final answer because the question is asking, what is the mass? Okay, so the entity that you need to find stays on the top. So we know that 1.0 grams of clinda, sorry, clinda, clindamycin is present in 100 milliliters of this solution. Okay, so we now can cancel out the milliliters and milliliters of the solution 
and we are left with the grams. So 60.0 times 1.0, and that's the grams, that's going to give you the, um, oh, that's 100 ml is still there. So that gives you zero. So in other words, divide by 100. And your answer here is 0 0.60 grams of the clindamycin. is present in that 60 ml of the solution. Okay, so that is a way of calculating uh, the mass and also maybe the volume um, at some point, depends one of which variable is given, but this is a way of calculating the mass of the solute using the mass by volume percent problems. Okay, thank you. I hope you found this was helpful. Thank you and bye-bye.